1969, the world watched as Neil Armstrong took his first step onto the moon. Over 600 million people witnessed this moment live on television. Yet, even decades later, some still claim it was all staged. Could one of humanity's greatest achievements be a hoax? Conspiracy theories began almost immediately after Apollo 11's return. Some believed NASA faked it to win the space race against the Soviet Union. They argued it was easier to stage it in a studio than to actually go there. The most famous claims involved the flag, the stars, and the shadows. First, the waving flag. But there's no wind on the moon. The movement came from astronauts twisting it while planting. The rod at the top kept the flag extended, giving it a rippled look. Next, the missing stars, a camera exposure issue, not a cover-up. Apollo cameras used fast shutter speeds and small apertures. The stars were too dim to appear in such photos. Then there are the shadows that seem to point in different directions. Uneven terrain creates optical illusions in lighting. The sun was the only light source on the moon. And what about deadly radiation in the Van Allen belts? The Apollo spacecraft crossed quickly with shielding to protect the crew. The dose was far below harmful levels. Beyond photos, we have physical proof of the moon landings. These devices still reflect lasers from Earth today. Scientists worldwide have studied moon rocks brought back by Apollo. Their isotopes are unlike anything found on Earth. Faking the moon landing would require over 400,000 people to stay silent. The chance of a cover-up lasting over 50 years? Near zero, the Soviet Union tracked Apollo missions independently. If NASA had faked it, the Soviets would have exposed it immediately. It's natural to question events that seem almost unbelievable. But all credible evidence says, we really went. The moon landing conspiracy endures because it's mysterious. It plays into our fascination with what if, look up at the moon, there are human footprints up there. They've been undisturbed for over half a century. A silent reminder of what humanity can achieve. And perhaps, a promise of where we will go next. The next giant leap might already be in motion. Humanity's story among the stars has only just begun. The moon is not just a destination. It's a beginning. And the footprints will always be there to remind us. In 1972, Apollo 17 marked the last time humans set foot on the moon. Since then, the moon has been silent, visited only by robotic probes. Some see this as proof we never went in the first place. But space exploration shifted focus to other missions. Building the space shuttle became NASA's priority in the 1980s. The International Space Station became the next great frontier. Yet, the moon still calls to us. New programs aim to return humans to the moon. The Artemis missions will land the first woman and next man on the moon. And they'll explore regions never visited before. Why return? To learn, to build, and to prepare for Mars. The moon is a testing ground for deep space survival. It offers resources like water ice, crucial for future missions. Water can be turned into drinking water and rocket fuel. Every step forward disproves the old conspiracy myths. We have better technology, but the challenge remains immense. The moon is 384,000 kilometers away, no small journey. In 1969, we proved it could be done. Now we're proving it can be done again and better. The first moon landing inspired generations. The next landing might inspire a new space age. This time, the moon is just at the beginning. Beyond the moon lies the entire solar system. And perhaps, one day, beyond the stars. But we'll always remember that first step in 1969. It changed humanity forever. That grainy broadcast carried hope across the globe. In times of division, it united people everywhere. The moon became a symbol of possibility and a reminder that we are capable of more. No flag or footprint can fade in the moon's stillness. They'll outlast us all. And when future explorers arrive, they'll see them. Proof that humans once dared to leap into the unknown. That leap began with imagination. Then came engineering, courage, and teamwork. And now, the dream continues. The moon awaits its next visitors. And so does the rest of the universe. We've been there before. We'll be there again. As the Saturn V rocket ignited, the ground trembled beneath its immense power. 
Millions watched as the rocket pierced the clouds and disappeared into the blue. In the command module, astronauts felt the crushing force of acceleration. As they entered orbit, Earth's curved horizon came into view. Mission Control monitored every heartbeat, every signal. The spacecraft traveled toward the moon at nearly 39,000 kilometers per hour. Three days later, the moon filled the window like a looming giant. The lunar module separated from the command module, descending toward history. Inside, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin prepared for landing. The descent was tense, with fuel running dangerously low. Houston, tranquility base here, the Eagle has landed. The world erupted in cheers and relief. Armstrong stepped onto the moon, leaving humanity's first footprint. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. The astronauts planted the American flag into the dusty regolith. They conducted experiments, collecting rock and soil samples. The harsh sunlight cast long, sharp shadows across the barren landscape. After 21 hours, it was time to leave the moon. The ascent stage docked with the command module in lunar orbit. The journey home began with a burn that set their course toward Earth. Days later, Earth grew larger in the window, vibrant with blues and whites. The spacecraft slammed into Earth's atmosphere, enveloped in plasma. Parachutes deployed, slowing the descent into the Pacific. The command module splashed down into the waves. Navy divers rushed to secure the spacecraft. The crew emerged, smiling and waving, safe at last. Around the world, people celebrated humanity's achievement. The moon landing inspired a new generation to dream bigger. It proved that impossible goals could be reached through unity and effort. But even now, some claim the landing was staged. Conspiracy theories point to shadows, flags, and film anomalies. Experts counter with physics, engineering, and common sense. Real moon rocks brought back to Earth, tell the truth. Photos from multiple angles match exactly with lunar terrain. Laser reflectors left on the moon still bounce signals back today. The evidence is overwhelming. Humanity truly walked on the moon. The Apollo missions opened the door to planetary exploration. They paved the way for future journeys to Mars and beyond. The moon remains a beacon of human curiosity and ambition. And the first footprints will remain there, untouched for millions of years.